Aloha all, I am Rose Adair with Key Pai Pai Art Foundation and this is your tip of the week. So how do you get rid of mold? It really is important out here in Hawaii. You'll notice this has mold on it. And this is vinegar. So I've got your household vinegar. This is distilled white vinegar right here. And I just put it in a bottle and if you'll notice, it's got a nice little mist on it. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mist the backside and I'm gonna soak it in. I'm trying to not get this in my face. And it's pretty well saturated. So I'm really saturating it. I'm also, if you'll notice, I would usually put this on a, a table. I'm really gonna saturate it underneath. Why am I doing that? Well, mold loves to go underneath things. And this is a really bad habit when people do this is they forget the underneath and they also forget the top surface and the wood. So you want to get all the wood, the top surface and the inside of the canvas. Then luckily we live in Hawaii. It's pretty much always sunny. You leave it out on a really nice sunny day and you make sure that there's no clouds in the sky. If there's a cloudy day, if it rains, it's going to ruin the chances of this getting um, the sun beating down on it. And it's the sun that eats the mold. So it's the combination of the vinegar and the sun killing the mold. Now you'll notice there's a shadow happening here. So in about five minutes, I'm going to rotate this so that little lip has a chance to get uh, the sun. Now, what do you do after? it's been eaten away. You go ahead and you get a big thing of gesso. This is acrylic. Now acrylic is plastic and plastic and mold do not get along. So mold has for the most part a hard time growing on plastic. You take a janky old brush, not your favorite brush, and you get a good wait for the car to pass. Good chunk of uh, acrylic and you apply liberally, which means a lot of gesso onto the back surface of the canvas. Now, most canvases come pre gessoed, but that's on the front side of the canvas, not on the back side. On the back side of the canvas is raw canvas and that's where you get most of your mold. So the thing about this is most people, again, think that you just put it on this surface, but you also have to put it underneath here, which is the bar, and then underneath, again, the stretcher bar. So when you're doing this technique, you really need to get this brush way into the crevices and use a lot of gesso. That's why I have the big gallon of gesso and I'm really, really shoving it in there. And also I'm not, I'm being very sloppy because I'm also going to get it all onto the wood as well. Why? Because the wood can also mold. So you're getting the gesso everywhere and it's the back of the canvas. So it really doesn't even have to look very pretty. Now I'm going to do a little better job than you saw. I'm going to smooth everything out. But for the most part, you want to do about two different coats, maybe even three, depending on bad, how bad your mold job is. So that's what you want to do. And again, leave it in the sun to dry and rotate it around so it dries thoroughly. And you probably only need half an hour in the sun to thoroughly dry this. I wouldn't, um, if you're doing it on the top surface, you probably don't want to paint on it for another day. And if you do have mold on the front of the canvas that actually has paint on it, then gingerly put the um, vinegar and some water on a microfiber cloth and gently wipe off. Don't just spray it right onto the oil or the acrylic. Just be very, very gentle. So that's the tip of the week and I'll see you next week.